This is an overview of networking. I assume you have some knowledge, obviously, about PCs in general. So this is just an intro to networking and an overview of all the aspects of networking. The whole idea is, as I always say, is for you to be able to go and understand what is possible with networking and an overview of how it works. Then what you can do is, if you want to do something specific, you can Google that, you can read up on that. So I'm not going to go into too much details. This is basically going into the main subjects of networking <coughs> and discussing those subjects so that you have a, a good overview of everything. We're not going to discuss anything about physical networking. So network cables, um, hubs, routers, stuff like that. We're not going to go into that. Um, this is purely the virtual side of networking, which is basically IP addresses and subnets, routing. Here's a list of the subjects that we'll go through. Um, yeah, and we're only going to do IP version 4. <coughs> We're not going to go on to IP version 6. First of all, it's not 100% used yet. So we can't actually do it. We can't actually deploy a server that only runs IP version 6. 6. It's not going to work because a lot of the world is still on IP version 4. A lot of the same principles apply. So a lot of this stuff that you see here is exactly the same on IP version 6. It's just that the addressing system is a little bit different. Um, uh, first of all, there's an the organization called the IEPF. Basically, they are the Internet Engineering Task Force. They control standards, they control IP ranges, they control subnets in the world to make sure that the Internet works. That when you request a website, the website will actually load with this protocol so that all the devices in the world actually understand each other, etc. etc. The IANA I can't remember what it stands for, but it's basically a list of protocols and um, RFC documents. It's basically a list of rules of how things should work. Um, RFCs, I think it's called Request for Comments. So RFC is something you would put out on the internet and say, here's an RFC, it's got a number, and anybody that wants you can comment on it and say, this is going to be a problem, we should do it like that. This is a problem, we should do it like that. And then eventually, once it sort of gets to the final stage where everyone's happy, then it's a final RFC. Then companies will actually use that RFC if implemented. RFC, sorry. <coughs> so, the first thing is obviously an IP address. What is an IP address? IP address, as you, most of you would know, is the way to identify a computer or a device on a network. It's very similar to a house address. Um, I just made a bit of a, this is not exactly how it works, but it will give you an idea. If you have a house address, you usually have a house number, a street name, a suburb, and a city. When you write down an address, usually you write the house number first, then the street name, then the suburb, then the city. So it's actually the reverse order. You start with the smallest thing first, which is your house. Then a little bit bigger, which is the street, then a little bit bigger, which is the suburb, and then a lot bigger, which is the city. And obviously you can go into country and province and um, state or whatever as well. <coughs> but for this practice, um, <coughs> we're only going to go down to city level. And you'll see with an IP address, it's always four digits. So it'll be four digits separated by a dot. And each digit would be in the range 0 to 255. And different to an addressing system, your smallest unit will be right last. So your biggest unit will always be first. So the first one technically is your city, the second one is your suburb, the third one is your street, and the last one is your house number. Okay, this is just, it's not exactly, you shouldn't like take this completely to heart and use it completely like that. Uh, because when you get to subnet and subnet sizes, it gets a little bit, sort of, you can have sub suburbs and stuff like that which gets a bit, a bit more complicated so it doesn't work exactly like that but that gives you an idea we start with the biggest one first and work towards the smallest one um, so yeah that's the way to address computers on a network or devices whether it's a tablet a cell phone a printer they all have IP addresses uh, let me just see what's next yeah so that covers an IP address itself 